Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Monday, October 5th. I do have some good information for you. Uh, plus, uh, Tropical Storm Delta has formed. It is at 1,004 millibars. It is right at 40 miles an hour. Uh, gamma is at 45 miles an hour. Uh, Delta is moving west-northwest at 9 miles an hour. Now, your Tropical Storm Force winds, here it is here. You have 60% chance on the southeast side of Louisiana. I do show, matter of fact, that this will go down to a tropical storm on impact. I'll show you in a second. It goes all the way up to 50% chance stretching all the way out to Mississippi. And you got 40 up here in the dark yellow, and the yellow here is 30%. But let me show you what I'm getting at. Now, here's what you got from NOAA. It is going to do some rapid intensification, of course. It's going to be hurricane. Matter of fact, I'm showing it's going to go up to about a Cat 2 hurricane. Go down to about a Cat 1 and then be a tropical storm on landfall, just like Noah's showing. So it, it is going to weaken. It is going to have a moment of weakness, and I believe it's going to be some dry air. Now, let me show you what we have on a few of the models. Now, this one right here is your HWRF, and this is the land interaction that's going to be having all the way until it gets to the states. And you can see it going by the first land, and you can see it go by Cuba. And watch where the impact is going to be when it gets towards landfall. Now here it goes on the 6. And if you watch it, you can see that they saying landfall is going to be right there on southeast Louisiana. Now that's according to the HWRF. Now, according to the HWRF with the winds, you can see the full track of it. It forms up. And when it goes across the Gulf, it will be some rapid intensification, but this is going to cool right back down and go back down to a Cat 1 hurricane and then tropical storm on landfall. This one shows the most uh, intensity. That's why I showed this one so you can see the form of it. It goes all the way to 955 on this one. And then on the HMON model, you can see as it goes by, this one does the furthest south as it goes. It don't even go over Cuba. It's, it messes it on the, on, the, on the south side of it, on the west of Cuba. And then when it gets towards interaction with, with Louisiana, it shows it a little further to the east right there. It's showing a little more of a Alabama-Mississippi problem right on the border. 981. Now we have the GFS. Now the GFS shows us the rapid intensification. It gets all the way to 964. And then landfall southeast New Orleans at 984. Quickly goes down. Now the GM model. The GM model is the one I wanted to show you. As it goes by and it gets towards Louisiana. This one also shows east. The worst it shows though is 995. It's showing it don't even get to the Cat 2 uh, phase, but on the border, again, of Texas and Alabama. Because you got to go by the percentages and averages that is going on. Now, the Nav Gym, right here, you can see that it does a little uh, Fujiwara effect. And it's kind of hard to tell if it's Delta or if it's Gamma that goes up towards New Orleans. It looks like it slingshots uh, Gamma right there with a 982 on landfall. See, Delta's on the right, and then it swings up Gamma with a 982 on landfall. Now, the R gem, when you do the R gem, the R gem shows you the, the best view of it, in my opinion, because you can see the storms. But you can see Delta right here moving in on the right, and then as you see it move in, it moves west. And then it moves south. Look at that. It pulls it south. Not like it's going towards Texas, but like it goes south. Well, it goes west, but southwest. Now, the NAM model, when you show the, the NAM model, you'll see that the gamma goes w far west, so it don't do too much of the Fujiwara, but still it pulls delta westward. You see that westward pull? That's the Fujiwara right there. And it looks like it's trying to do that again. And I could also pull this back down and shoot gamma up or pull it down and neither one of them go up. That's what I, that's what I want to see. Now, according to the Euro... It won't beat a Fujiwara. It'll get down to 987. That's the lowest pressure that the Euro shows. And just so you know the pressures, you can see them here. 
Category 1 is 980. Category 2 goes down to 965. After that, you're talking about Category 3 going to 945. Category 4 is down to 920. And then Category 5 is 919. And y'all remember those. We have Irma, Maria, Michael. We had our Category 5s before. But this is what I wanted to show you. This is the dry air. This is the GFS model. I'm looking at the 96 hour. This is right before landfall. This is where it weakens and then goes into landfall. So we can see exactly what's going on uh, with each level that's that's getting uh, done. Now, if you look at the 850 millibars, this is what this one is. This is 5,000 feet. This is above the 10, the 10, uh, the 10 meters damage in winds. This is so we can see what's going on through the whole uh, depth of, of this cone. Now, if you get rid of this one and you go to the second one, you see exactly what I'm talking about because you had, didn't you have the the 500 uh, millibars, which is 18,000 feet, and you can start to see the the dry air sneak in uh, to the storm. You can even see the center has some dry air in it as well. Because I was trying to figure out what made this storm weaken, and maybe it could weaken more. <laughs> That's what I was hoping on, to be honest with you. Now the 300, uh, that, that, that one is your jet stream. That one's 30,000 feet. And as you can see on the very top, it's very choked out with dry air. So I do not see rapid intensification on landfall. It has too much dry air all the way through it. Now if you go to the 102 hour on the GFS, you can see that dry air actually gets into the center of the storm. And that's why it goes from a Cat 2, from rapid intensification all the way to a Cat 2. I think it's going to go down to a Cat 1 right here. Just because it gets drier in the center and it's trying to get around the edge and wrap around it. And then on landfall, it's going to be a tropical storm. I guarantee it's going to go from a Cat 1 hurricane to a tropical storm. And we're not going to have all the problems like everybody's talking about it's going to be. Yes, I believe there's going to be rapid intensification. But I don't believe it's going to get that, that far up to where we can't come back down to a Cat 1 hurricane. Now here's your miles with GDPS. I'm going to go through this so you can see them real quick and see the movements. Uh, of the storms I'm trying to make this as quick as possible but I want to make sure that I get all the information out to you guys so y'all can see everything that goes on uh, early this morning don't hate to drag this out all day and keep putting videos oh hey it's gonna be a cat 5 no I do show it will do some rapid intensification I don't show that the cat 5 will happen I haven't showed any evidence or found any evidence that that will happen now at the 90 hour mark is where it starts to move forward and you can look here. Let me put it on the other one for you. This is it here. It's 102 hour. And then as it gets closer, 995 millibars. This is a very weak uh, Cat 1 hurricane down to a tropical storm, just like I said. But it's showing impact the same spot as the other models, right in between Alabama and Mississippi border. Now this is at the 120 hours. This is five days. Five days is going to is going to be there. We don't have a long time no more. Now here's your GFS model. GFS model has shown the most predominant of what's been going on. Now it gets down to 985, 979. It's all the way down to 973, 969. There it is right there. And this is on your 60 hour mark. So it's not far away. Then it gets down to 966. And I believe that was the lowest. 965. So it gets all the way down to 965. That is on the verge of a Cat 3, Cat 2 hurricane. And then the dry air gets in it. And look at that. Comes right back up. 977, 984 on landfall. Guys, this is going to be a Cat 1 to a tropical storm landfall. Now, here's the interactions after landfall, how far it's going to go, and who's going to might get a little piece of that. But I do see that the way it's going to go is be rapid intensification up to Cat 1, Cat 2 hurricane, and then it's going to go down to a tropical storm, guys. That's what I'm that's what I'm picking up. It weakens. It weakens immediately. So let me show you what I got so far. And the most strongest part is out here in the Gulf before it starts heading before it starts heading in, into the Louisiana. And then it goes down to just a tropical storm. Now this white you're seeing, if you look at it, you'll see it's 40 miles an hour, and this is what you're gonna see on impact. The middle is 77. But as it gets right there at the strongest point, that is exactly the strongest point right before the dry air gets to her. And it's, I'm showing a Cat 1 hurricane, guys. I'm showing it's going to be a Cat 1 hurricane 
to a tropical storm at landfall. Look at that. Weakens immediately down to a tropical storm on landfall. I, I, I guarantee, I, I know that some of y'all want hurricanes because you're young and you love the power of the storms and it's all great. Man, you do not want that to take away your parents' house or everything you work for, even your parents at that fact. But I do believe and I pray that I am right, that this goes to give it its rapid intensification. I'll give it to Cat 2. But I show it's going to go down to a Cat 1. And then it's going to go down to a tropical storm after impact. I, I do hope this will not be as big of a problem as others are making this out to be. Psalm 92. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. To shew forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. Upon an instrument of ten strings and upon the, the, sostry, the postry, uh, upon the harp is with a solemn sound. For thou, Lord, has made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of thy hand. O Lord, how great are these works, and, and thy thoughts are very deep. A brutish man knoweth not, neither doeth a foolish a fool understand this. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. But thou, Lord, art most high forevermore. For lo, thine enemies, O Lord, for lo, thine enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn shalt thou exalt, like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. My eyes also shall see my desire of mine enemies, and my ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall sting. They shall still bring forth fruit of an old age, they shall be fattening and flourishing to shew that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. Amen. I'd like to say real quick, God, you're the most powerful God, the almighty God, the king of the universe. You can do everything. And you said to ask in Jesus' name and man has, the son of man has the power to heal just as Jesus did. All we have to do is believe in faith. Well, God, I believe that you don't want us to get hurt. And if it is your will, I pray very heavily that you make all this dry air engulf this storm. Weaken it down. A tropical storm we can take, Father. Do not make it a strong hurricane. We do not want a strong hurricane. Amen. I pray, guys. I, I pray that dry air gets in and around this storm and it weakens to nothing. That's what I pray for. But we all know it's going to get to a Cat 2 hurricane. Some people are saying more. I guarantee you it's going to go to Cat 2. Go down to Cat 1 and be Tropical Storm on Impact. I still believe that. God bless you all today. I hope you all have a great day today. All glory does go to God. Amen.